According to the World Health Organization, an estimated 55 million people die each day. Never in my life did I think as a 17-year-old I would be watching someone die. I was sadly mistaken. I watched her lay there for half alive for over an hour after they unplugged the machines that had been keeping her going. I was there to witness her taking her final breaths. Nothing is more numbing than have, hearing a doctor declare the time of the death of another human being. Death can really frighten people. Can you imagine the world without you? My problem isn't death itself. The issue is that people aren't living their lives to the fullest. It's such a shame because you never know what, when you're going to be a part of the millions of people that die each year. You could live until you're 100 or you could die tomorrow. I believe that it's out of your control. When it's supposed to happen, it's going to. Many people let their issues ruin their lives, which takes away from, their, from what could potentially be. They let it hold them back. They don't accept reality and move on. They dwell on it. People can have several things getting in their way of life, such as addiction, mainly used to escape reality. On the bright side, you can change your ways to fully live your life. I encourage you to live by the phrase, does anyone know how to say carpe, is it carpe diem? <laughs> carpe diem. And that also means to seize the day. Live each day like it's your last. Tomorrow's a mystery, yesterday is history, but today is a gift. That's why they call it the present. Another way to help you on your journey of living your life to the fullest is acceptance. Acceptance not of not only your struggles, but who you are. If you judge yourself, you are limiting yourself from the start. Love yourself in your body, for you only get one in this lifetime. A big thing is finding purpose in your life. Once you have something to live for, you live better. Personally, I don't understand why you wouldn't want to live your life to the fullest, mainly because you aren't guaranteed tomorrow. I hope you'd want to be satisfied with your life when you die. The best thing about acceptance is the inner peace it can bring you. Once you learn to accept things, you become a happier, more lively person. People will notice your happiness. Some may be jealous. Others will want to follow you like sheep. Try to take charge and make a change. Finding a purpose in your life may be difficult. It may be found in another human being or a certain job. The key to life is happiness. Find love and cherish it. Be the reason someone wants to wake up in the morning. Find a job you love and you'll never have to work a day in your life. Now that I've opened your mind to the reality of living your life to the fullest, I urge you to take what I've said to heart. Because once a person at the, because a person that you love become a person that you love at the end of the day you're stuck with yourself and no one else living each day like it's your last will prefer, prepare you for when it is your last day the more you practice living your life to the fullest the more you will succeed you will be able to impact people by showing them how it's helped your life to beautifully grow